right, today, uh, Sunday afternoon, I'm heading to uh, one of my favorite places. Yep, you got it, Home Depot. It's a beautiful new store. Okay, it's in Connecticut. I am gonna, unfortunately, I gotta return a tool I bought. And um, we're gonna go through the uh, procedure on a return and we'll see how easy or difficult this becomes all right stay tuned i'll be inside in about five or six minutes and we'll take it from there well that return went so smooth i didn't even have a chance to pull out the uh the phone here and film it so let's go through the tool section and see what they have see if they have any good sales today we got some batteries cost for $9.97. It's a pretty good deal here. Look at that. It's a lot of AA batteries. We got 36 for $9.97. Here's my favorite, the rigid. Okay. Not bad, $159. And it is the brushless. Wow, $159 for uh, an impact. And the drill here. Give it a shot. Let's try one of these bad boys. Well, that works pretty well. Tough, tough. I like that. Let's go over here and see what they got. We've got some Milwaukee. looking for the octane I bought one of these a couple days ago believe it or not I had an issue with it it's like a grinding noise in it so I just returned it within the uh, 90 days I didn't want to put up with any uh, issues but all the other rigid um, haven't had a problem yet Ooh, nice little charger $109 it's a dual rapid charger it's got the Nice little USBs, extra plugs. Unfortunately, they do not have the Octane uh, circular saw, so I'm going to have to take a ride up to the other store, which is about 20 minutes away. What else do they have? Anything cool? tell you whatever you need they have it pretty much um, this is it this is what I'm looking for the octane they have it here at the uh, store as the demo but I don't see I don't have it in stock underneath sometimes you got to get back there I'm gonna pull that one out and see what that is well, I got underneath they didn't have the uh, octane so I'm gonna head up to the other store the other thing I like to mention is when you're in these stores, Home Depot, if you have the Home Depot app on your phone, all you have to do is type in the item you're looking for, and it gives you the information. It'll give you the aisle number, and it'll give you the bay. Okay? If it says aisle 15, bay 1, obviously there's 15. And there's the bay. All right. So let's head up to the other store. 
and see how we make out with the octane circular saw. Okay, leaving the store, getting back to the car, just going over some of the uh, outdoor furniture they have here. It's pretty nice looking stuff, good prices. Tell you, if you're looking for an outdoor set, definitely take a ride to the depot. They have it all here. This is the Stanford, Connecticut location, if you're wondering. All right. Hmm. What the heck was that all about? All right, so few things that are outside we have some grills some pretty bad looking grills man pretty sick a lot of a lot of stainless steel there look at this guy right here talk about a smoker cause you can smoke a full-size pig in this one 540 regular price 899 what and this is a wood pellet grill I like this little stack here I would imagine you put the pellets. Oh, look at this. This thing is fed electronically with wood pellets. That's a nice setup. And you got your Weber. Yeah, okay. Not bad. This is more of my style right here. It's only $349. I cook a couple burgers at a time. What am I cooking? 30, you know what I mean? I don't need a big one. All right, then you got these guys here. Yeah, pretty cool. If you're looking for a grill, get down here while supplies last. 159, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's a nice setup. It'll get you through a couple of seasons if you keep it clean. Look, boom, it's got a bottle opener, cause what are you gonna do? All right. The next visit I have at the depot, I'm going to go through the landscaping uh, plants and stuff, all the materials. So stay tuned. I'm heading up to the other store to get my saw. All right, I'm heading up to the uh, other Home Depot location. I'm on 95. Um, I'm actually driving my son's beater college car. He left it. He took my other car up to the school. So he left this thing behind. I've been driving a truck so long, I'm in this thing, it feels like a go-kart. I mean, what a beast of shit, you know what I mean, cuz? All right, so getting back to it, I am heading up to the other location, and I don't know what the hell that noise is. Let's hope it's brand new tire noise. Okay, once I get up to the uh, other location, Home Depot, um, I'm going to just shoot the video and see what this store is all about. I haven't been up here in about a year since the new one opened up, so we'll see what it looks like when I get up there. All right, stay tuned. See you soon. We're at the other Home Depot. This thing's probably... I don't know, 20, close to 20, maybe maybe a little older, years old. Um, this one kind of blows because of the parking. You got people that drive cars, they think it's a tractor trailer. It takes them 25 minutes to pull out of it. So you gotta be a little patient here. Okay. Nobody lets you go, inconsiderate. Just keep going. All right, we found a space. We're gonna go in, give me a few minutes. All right, we got some stuff out here. Let's take a look. We got some wheelbarrows. Those Jackson ones are pretty sweet, $99. Can't go wrong. Pretty sweet for 99 bucks. What's going on, Chief? How you doing? 
We got a true temper here. All right, I'm up here uh, in the Norwalk, Connecticut store. Let's see if they have what I'm looking for. Okay, they have the rigid out here. This is nice. They got the rigid planer. That's a good one. I didn't come up here for nothing because it showed they had it online. Right, let's go down here. Maybe they got more tools this way. Damn, a lot of cones here, cuz. And they have it. Where is here? It is. Here's the really stuff. They got a lot of stuff up here. A lot more than Stanford. And Stanford should have the same thing. All right, let's see. Okay, the Gen 5. I saw this one in Stanford. Here's the brushless. Here we go, bam. This is what I'm looking for. Pull this out. Yeah, that's it, the Octane. They have it up here, just seven and a quarter inch, 18 volt. Okay. And I don't think it comes with a battery. I think it's tool only. Yeah. Battery and charger sold separately. I don't know what the hell that beep is. It's some kind of a scanner or something when you walk by. All right, well, this is it. It's 159. So we're going to grab this. And let's just check out whatever else they have here in the store before I leave. You know what? The Flex Vault's a good tool, too. Oh. Is that 299? Yeah. No, that's not going to happen. Well, it does come with a battery and a charger. All righty. Let's see. Uh... Which one is this? This is a 20 volt. This one is... The tool only. I don't believe it's brushless, so I'm not going to deal with that. Which one is this here? Okay. You know what? I'm sticking with the rigid. They got the best warranty. Okay. Not to mention, I have the platform already. I do have my. Uh, I do have my DeWalt nail guns, but uh, you know, I'm gonna stick to the nail guns, batteries and stuff for that. Okay, so let's check up, let's check out of here and uh, we're good to go. Wait a minute, we got some stuff over here. Let's see if they got any good ones up here, any good deals, 99 bucks. Not bad, brushless impact. Oh, this one's not too bad either. I mean, I have it all, but for two forty-five, okay, it's a nice, nice combo set. If you're looking for, uh, if you're looking to start a new platform, that's a good price, two forty-five. All right, I'm out of here. I got my saw. I'm happy. Talk to you soon. How you doing, buddy? All right. Well, I picked it up. I got the. Uh, Octane 1, 18 volt. But I do like to stick to my own store. So we'll catch you soon. Take care.
heading home and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing in the trailer. Um, I opened up a little bit in the car, so stay tuned. I'll show you what this saw looks like. All right, I got the uh, Octane back in the trailer. So let's uh, take this out of the box and see what we got. Got the receipt, you wanna save the receipt. Reason being is you have to register the tool and you need the number on the receipt right here. You need that number in order to register the tool. Okay, so hold on to that. Looks like we got a hanger here. Maybe like a joist hanger or something that goes on here. That's pretty cool. I saw. Okay, what else do we have in the box? This here, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a connect. This, this is an adapter for a shop vac. Maybe you could hook this up to a vacuum while you're uh, cutting wood. Get sucked right into the uh, shop vac. That's cool. Obviously, you have your instructions. Or your manual it comes with a blade these are not bad I've used them before seven and a quarter inch okay carbide teeth not bad okay we'll put that aside let's take this thing out of the bag wow that is something that's that's a nice looking saw all right it's octane obviously it's brushless comes with the uh, the Allen wrench to put a blade on here okay so and it has the stop here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this button okay you're gonna push it so you can take this bolt off all right back off the bolt obviously you want to do this with no battery okay Put that aside, take that off, let's grab our blade, got a little uh, guard here, you want to be careful, you want to open up the guard there and you want to slide this in slowly, get it on there, put this back in, wait a minute, this goes in here, this stays in, this blade then goes on top that goes there and then we put the bolt back in place okay hand tight then you want to push that button again get your allen wrench give this a nice snug nice little snug tighten it as tight as you can okay I'll tell you nice it's got a nice handle it's got the degrees here all right you can adjust the blade depth I believe with this one let's see yeah so it would be this one okay so say if you want to cut I don't know three quarter inch plywood you line this guy up to your plywood all right then you come over here, obviously, and you lock it in place with the lock. Then you got that depth you're looking for. Then you can also do 45s. So if you want 45, okay. All right, so I keep it mostly flat because I'm just cutting you know, plywood and things like that. But you have that option. I'll tell you what, it's a nice saw. Stay right here. I'm going to show you what I have been using. And I finally, finally upgraded, which I'm happy. this guy right here this is a dinosaur let me put him aside but it served its purpose okay this is the wall this is the older platform okay this here it did its job okay I can't complain the only problem was is the batteries were dying out these are the older batteries here you know th this is this is a dinosaur so I'm gonna fade all this away I might give it to a 
someone I know, I have someone in mind who might be able to use it. It still works fine if they want to go out and invest in some new batteries. But yeah, the difference is just amazing. And I got to tell you, this one's a lot bigger than Rigid, but holding them both, I mean, it's not that much heavier than this little guy. Um, let's throw a battery in there and just we'll kick it on for one, you know, for a second or two. Let me just bring this down even here. Let me lock it into place. All right, so I grabbed a 4.0 battery from up here, my charging station. Up in here, can you see the charging station? I got some DeWalt batteries and stuff. Okay, so I don't have any Octane batteries yet. I just purchased this today, but I will pick some up the next time I need a few batteries. So we pop that in. All right, we got three lights, so we're almost full. You got a safety button ambidextrous so if you're left-handed or right-handed you got the button on both sides you want to hold that down and it's got a break look at the way it breaks by itself as soon as I let off the button breaks nice it's got a nice break all right well I'm happy with it so far I'm gonna use it tomorrow I'll let you know how it works out now this here I should read the instructions but I usually look at the picture like everybody else okay so that it looks like it goes onto this guide here you see this guide see that okay I'll figure it out I don't feel like doing it now but this looks like it hooks up to the guide so if you're cutting I don't know rafters or whatever you can hang this on joists and things like that this guy here I'm gonna guess that it goes on somewhere right here yeah just like this I mean I will read the instructions on how to mount that that looks like it where it would go maybe you take this one off put this one in its place okay or maybe it just oh there you go wait a minute well, you get the point. I'll figure that out. Oh, and it also has a nice little LED. If you look under here, it's got a separate button, just like the drills, right where my finger is. So if you want the light, you do the light. Obviously, I didn't have my finger on the trigger when I'm moving it around. You want to be careful. And if you want to do anything with this blade or anything, you know, inspect it, always just pull the battery out. Be on the safe side. But yeah. The Rigid Octane Brushless. It's a pretty sick looking saw. I'm happy with the purchase. And uh, that's it. Stay tuned. I'll uh, give an update in a month or so and let you know how it's working out. But thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bam. Don't forget to uh, share. Share the videos. You know what I mean? And uh, hit the bell. Hit that bell so when I make a video... You get a notification and you don't miss any of these videos. Um, that's pretty much it. I appreciate it again. You're taking time out to watch a video if you're watching it on a Sunday. And have a good rest of the week. Catch you soon.